This easy podcast episode tactic will help you engage with your audience, keep your show up to date, maximize your SEO efforts, and make your show stand out from the rest. All you have to do is think of a unique podcast segment that you can implement into your episodes. Let's go through 10 segment ideas to help you keep your podcast relevant and exciting. A podcast segment is a chunk of your episode dedicated to something specific. Think of your current podcast in three segments. You have your introduction, the bulk of your episode, and your outro. You can add other segments to your episodes, and if you do it right, it can reap huge benefits for your show. We're going to dive into lots of segment ideas and how to use some of these segments as promotional clips on your social media accounts. Riverside makes it super easy to create vertical clips quickly, and we'll show you how to do that later. There are a few best practices to consider when adding segments to your episode. The first is to keep them short seven minutes or less. Remember that your audience has tuned in to hear about your episode topic. You don't want to lose them by talking about something different. Next, make sure that these segments add value for the audience. So they should be funny or informative. You don't want this to become a section that your listener wants to skip through every time. Lastly, have them either at the beginning or the end of the episode. You don't want to interrupt your episode and switch gears when your listener is the most engaged. All right, Let's dive into some ideas. Engage directly with your audience by having a member on the show to talk about something. The content can be either related to your episode content or just related to the theme of the podcast. If you have a political podcast, you could have a member of the audience on to give their opinion on what you discuss in the episode. If you have a dating podcast, you could have a member of the audience on to tell their worst date story. You want to make sure that whoever is coming on the show has a story or opinion worth listening to. You can vet these people online ahead of time while encouraging engagement on social media. Create a post that will encourage viewers to leave a short comment, like describe your worst date using three words. Whoever leaves the most intriguing comments, follow up with these people and get more information about their opinion or story and then pick the most intriguing person to be on the show. If you use Riverside, you can stream the recording process of your show live to an audience and even have them call in live to the show. This makes facilitating this process super easy. Check out the video linked above to learn how to live stream on Riverside. Read audience advice relating to a previous episode's content. When you post an episode, also create a social media post asking for advice relating to that episode. If you have a travel podcast and in your episode you're talking about Ireland, you could ask your audience to comment on what their favorite hostels are in Dublin. Next time you record, add a segment reading out these comments at the end of the episode and then encourage people to go listen to the related episode to hear more about the topic. This is a great way to promote past episodes. Now, you can also promote past episodes with past episode highlights. You can do this in a couple ways. Have a guest on the show to talk about their favorite past episode. You can discuss why it resonated with them and talk about what's changed since the release of the episode. You can also recycle parts of old episodes to talk about points that you made in the past. At the end of my podcast recordings, we always ask the guest, what's one piece of advice you'd offer to your 20-year-old self? I could use an old one of those clips in the recording of a new episode and talk about it briefly. Both of these strategies will act as promotion for the episode discussed. Now, when you are creating a segment that promotes a past episode, have this segment and call to action at the end of the episode. This way, you're catching the listener when they're about to do something else or listen to another podcast. Try to hook them at this time and convince them that their next action should be listening to another one of your episodes. And of course, always make sure to include the link to the episode talked about in the show notes. Talk about another podcast in your niche and why you like it. The goal is to turn this into a social media post and tag the other podcast and its hosts with the hope that they will repost your content. This allows you to reach their audience and hopefully gets you more listeners on your show. It also opens the door for a potential collaboration opportunity with that podcast. Start your episode off by talking about something that is trending. This could be a new album, song, TV show, movie, book, sports highlight, anything that's trending at the time of recording. This is going to help your podcast episode get indexed with that trending topic online. You want to make sure to include keywords about this topic in your show notes and make sure to post your episode transcription to your web page. Both of these tactics will help with SEO for your episode. However, this tactic will only work if you record your episodes soon before you release them. 
Otherwise, you'll be releasing an episode where you're talking about old news. Try talking about something that you've been loving recently that relates to the theme of your podcast. This could be anything. A desk chair, a new newsletter for your niche, a website that helps you stay organized, a new shampoo that you love, a meal prep kit that's been saving you time, literally anything you think that might resonate with your audience. Think of this kind of like an ad. When you think of it this way, it will do a few things. This will help you practice for when you start getting sponsorships. This will give you examples that you can send to potential sponsors so they have an idea of how you can promote their product or service. This may help you land sponsorships with those products or services. And you can also look into getting an affiliate link with those products or services to make some money. If listeners have been reviewing your show, read out a new review during the episode and thank the writer. This is going to help you better connect with your audience and also entice other listeners to write a review for a chance to be mentioned in the show. Position yourself as an authority in your niche by sharing the latest news and trends of whatever is happening in your niche. If you have a podcast on podcasting, talk about the popular news in the podcasting world. This will help you keep your content fresh and establishes you as a go-to resource for your audience to keep up with what's going on. If your show offers premium content, either on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, Patreon, or Memberful, take a clip from your most recent subscription-based episode and put it in your regular episodes. By offering your listeners a sample of your premium content, they're more likely to take that next step and become a premium subscriber. Relay a tip for something regarding your niche. If you have a podcast on peaceful parenting, talk about a lesser known tactic for handling tantrums. This would make a great social media series. You can always make a clip out of that segment or any of the segments that we've mentioned so that you have a weekly clip to post on Instagram Reels or TikTok. To do this easily, record on Riverside and then simply head into the Riverside editor, select vertical aspect ratio, trim your recording to a clip from the episode, play around with the design aspects, and you can export your clip optimized for social media. For a more thorough walkthrough of our clips feature, you can head to the video linked above. By spicing up your episodes with just one or two of these segment ideas, you can better engage your audience and keep your content relevant and exciting. Do you have any other segment ideas? Let me know in the comments. And if you liked this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And before you go, consider subscribing to our channel where we post videos every week that will help you on your podcasting journey. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.